Okay folks, here we go. Heading from Oakley to Aberdour. If I can get out of here. I've just done about two minutes of the football at Oakley and I have to be in Aberdour in 25 minutes. I wonder what the chances of that happening are. It's going to be tight, I tell you that. Straightens up a wee bit. There you go. I just hope the roads are clear. mental speed bumps here right, did you can wait because I'm committed through the roundabout police station on the right for Oakley speed bump here. Feels like you're taking off. As we hit the national speed limit sign, it is 60 but there is not a hope that you'll get up to 60 along here. Twisty, you wrote this. Seems to be happening quite a lot around here. Before long we'll have lots of houses, no farmland, there's so nothing to eat. Taking the second. 
in the Excel, which is over there. sound healthy from that motorbike. Crombie don't know if this still is but it used to be a naval armaments depot and the big pier that goes out into the river I worked on that when I was a joiner we were doing the shuttering on it which wasn't fun because it was in December for some reason this thing will not tilt. There you go, it's not too bad. It's not that that we lay by many a time on the left to send pictures out. You get quite a good signal here. That farm that you can see on the right there, friends of that family as well, known them for many years. Lovely family as well. Don't get that cyclist there on the road, and if you notice, right beside him is a cycle path. Just, I just don't get it. They put cycle paths in, it costs thousands of pounds to do it, and yet the cyclists think, oh no, I'm just going to ride on the road because I can. That's one of my wee winges over for the day. Cyclists, bah humbug. All that lycra. Maybe that's one of the reasons I don't cycle, well, pretty much ever. Um, nobody would want to see me wearing Lycra. That would be a scary sight. Lord Elgin's estate. It's an amazing house. Absolutely beautiful inside. If we took the next left, that would take us up the back road into Dunfermline. Going that way today, I'm in a wee bit of a hurry to get to Aberdour to get to the raft race. Although 
Sullivan and Fields are this colour, beautiful golden colour. We'll be heading through to Scythe, where I live. Um, but hopefully we won't be stopping there just now. this road before these uh, houses and shops were built sort of just in front of us and the old primary school King's Road uh, before it got burnt down and pulled down and replaced by a smaller one you used, to, you used to always see it when you're coming back this way from your holidays that's when you knew it was the time that you were almost home and your holidays were over Now you see them. It's not quite the same. Maui over there, that's a uh, fish processing area. fields and it wasn't that long ago to be honest there we go Scotland's only garden city Resythe the same as Hilton Garden City but Resythe it's actually Resythe Garden City there you go in that sign there there's our plumber about to pass a tree there on the right that's where I used to live when I was a kid and that tree used to have a branch which came out across the pavement and uh, I used to sit on it and whenever anyone came along I'd sit and chat to them almost lived up that tree maybe that's why I've got arms the length that they are now and look like a bit like a gorilla minutes to do a 14 minute journey. I'm just hoping that as normal it doesn't quite start on time. I'm not getting the heat. 
area on the left is Bell Nows Industrial Estate. And where this wee road goes in, if you see the building on the left, that's Muir Homes, Muir Construction. Originally it was called Scott Yacht, and that's where I served my apprenticeship as a joiner. And that definitely was not yesterday. That's 39 years ago I started that. Wow. That is scary. Double roundabout. Across here, here we go. Right to pass the Brookhaven High School behind that big hedge on the right. saying they're going to knock it down and or move it to another venue. I've heard it's going to be in their scythe. But as normal with councils, things seem to take forever. down just about here. One of the belts snapped on it. So we're coming up towards Dogetty Bay, which we will be passing. To head into Abadour. seven minutes to get to Open. And this little dip we're about to enter, whenever there's a heavy rain this bit usually floods. used to a big massive factory. It's now been taken, well the ground's uh, been bought over. It's now a lot of smaller units where there's uh, you know, smaller businesses can actually afford to get in there and uh, keep going. Which is absolutely brilliant because it just brings different, but, but I can't even talk to you. It brings a bit of diversity into the area with the businesses. I 
might even leave you running when I park the car, depending on where I get parked. special areas again which they've designated as a 20 zone beautiful up here. But just down here used to be Steve's garage, which has now moved behind, and they're now building a co-op. There we go. Come up to the Woodside Hotel on the left, they've got park on the right. under three minutes to get down the hill here. This is Abadar. You can never work out if this is Main Street or High Street. I think it's High Street. Let's come around here. There's Billy the Vet in the green. Lovely, lovely guy, Billy. Cells. Bowling club on the right. Play park on the right. appears to have moved his car up a bit higher.